Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Claire Haver. I'm the creator and founder of The Galveston Diet. I'm also a wife, a mom, and a board-certified OBGYN physician. I found myself going through grief and depression after the death of my brother about six years ago, and also going through menopause at the same time. And at the end of that grief process, I wound up about 20 pounds overweight. During my grief process, I completely fell off the nutritional wagon. I was not exercising. I was drowning myself in processed carbohydrates at night, you know, anything to kind of numb the pain. And when I finally felt that fog lift and got on the scale and realized my clothes weren't fitting anymore, I knew I had to do something about it. So the advice I'd given my patients for years was what had been taught to me in medical school and training, calories in equals calories out, work out more, eat less. So I went back to the old habits that I used to do when I found myself a couple of pounds overweight. This time I was a lot more overweight than I had ever been. So I doubled down, I tripled down my workouts. I was counting calories like someone who was nearly insane. I was, I had an app, I was counting points, I was doing all the things and becoming increasingly frustrated because nothing really seemed to be working. So I, you know, looked through the OBGYN literature and there really wasn't much to support how women should be focusing on nutrition and diet in menopause other than work out more, eat less. And so I went down to the nutrition department at the university that I was employed at and said, hey, you know, what's going on in midlife and menopause? And they were like, you know, we do a lot of research on children, we do research on the elderly, but there's not really a lot that's going on for specifically women in your age who are going through aging and menopause at the same time. And they threw a bunch of articles at me and I just started reading. You know, one article leads to another, people reference each other, and I just developed this armamentarium of research articles and they all kept pointing to inflammation. You know, inflammation that rises with aging, the inflammatory changes that happen to us when our estrogen levels drop, the relative rise of androgens that's happening at the same time. And I thought, you know, no one's talking about this. There's, you know, how do we fix this? So when I did a deeper dive into chronic inflammation, and aging and looked at you know what therapeutic avenues we had there's no medication that actually can fix this it's almost all nutrition based as a society it turns out that we are really filling our bodies with things that cause inflammation on way more than we should be and we're not eating nearly enough things that fight inflammation calories in does equals calories out but what we don't what we're missing is that the calorie out portion in menopause our bodies have changed so much our metabolism has changed you know we are not realizing the effect of nutrition on how efficient our bodies are and how our metabolism is changing we can reverse some of these changes with good nutrition I knew I wanted to incorporate anti-inflammatory nutrition. I got really excited on the data that was coming out, mostly from Mark Matson at the National Institutes of Health, about intermittent fasting and the health benefits. So when I developed my program, I knew I wanted intermittent fasting, a focus on anti-inflammatory nutrition, meaning adding in things that fight inflammation naturally and taking out the things that cause inflammation naturally. And then something I call fuel refocus, really rethinking our relationship with carbohydrates, learning more about macronutrients and micronutrients and how they help feed the body. The pounds started coming off and staying off. And better than that, I was sleeping better. The symptoms of my menopause were better. I wasn't having as many hot flashes. My brain fog was tremendously better, especially in the morning during the fasting phase. And I thought, this is amazing. So I started sharing it with my patients at work. I made copies of my little program and I handed it out. They would come back in two, three, four, five weeks, thrilled with their results, weight being lost. But more than that, their health was better. Their blood pressure was better. Their cholesterol was better. Everything in their life was getting better because of this. And I thought, okay, maybe I'm onto something here. I chose to name it after the community here where I live in Galveston, Texas. It is where we chose to live, chose to raise our children, and probably will retire here. What makes me the most proud is that I'm, I'm changing lives. I you know, had a beautiful career as a, as a full-time OB-GYN. I delivered babies, I did surgery, I did pap smears, well, woman care, adolescent care. But I feel like in this point in my life, I'm making a bigger impact on my community, my state, my nation, and the world, because we have students from all over the world in our program. So if you want to learn more about our program, check us out at www.galvestondiet.com. I've got blogs, I've got recipes, I've got video links, tons of information out there for you to learn more about our program and see if this might be the right fit for you. I'm Dr. Mary Claire Haver, and if you want to learn more about our program, visit us at galvestondiet.com.